It's time for the warm up, so let's stand up and let's get ready. The first minute to win it challenge are going to be mountain climbers. On the ground, you are doing this for a total of 60 seconds. Go! Jumping jacks.
win it to win it challenge are going to be toe touches. challenge is going to be the 90 degree sit. You're going to sit like this with your legs bent for a total of 60 seconds. Ready? Begin. challenge are going to be running in place. Ready, go! to be windmills. Galeta, meu filho! 
you? Are you hot? Are you tired? <laughs> Our bodies need lots of energy to keep us going throughout the day. And do you know where we get that energy? That's right, from the food we eat. And all kinds of different people enjoy different kinds of food. But whether your favorite meal includes noodles or nectarines, tortillas or tofu, most types of food have some of what our bodies need to stay healthy. You might already know that we can put different kinds of food into different groups. We call these, you guessed it, food groups. But let's check out each group and see what kind of food belongs where. Let's start with the fruit group. You gotta love sweet, delicious fruit. This group includes things like apples and pears, oranges and strawberries. Fresh fruit is the best for you, but fruit that's canned or frozen counts too. After all, many fruits are hard to find in the winter and some fruits only grow in certain parts of the world. But don't forget about fruit that's been dried. Raisins are just dried grapes and prunes are dried up plums. And even juice is part of the fruit group, but only if it's all fruit juice and doesn't have added sugar. Next comes the grain group. Grains are plants like oats, wheat, and barley. If a food is made from one of these plants or any other grain plant, it belongs here. That means things made of flour, like bread and noodles, breakfast foods like oatmeal and cereal, and even rice are all part of this group. Next up, the vegetable group. I bet you already figured out what goes here. Vegetables come from plants too, but unlike grains, they're either the roots, stems, or leaves of certain plants that we can eat. Carrots, for example, are the sweet orange roots of the carrot plant. A head of lettuce is just a bunch of crunchy leaves, and asparagus is actually a stem of the tasty asparagus plant. There are so many kinds of veggies out there that we can actually split this group into smaller groups. For example, there are dark green veggies like spinach, and starchy vegetables like potatoes and sweet potatoes. Then there are red and orange veggies like beets and carrots, just to name a few. Now, what other foods can you think of? What about the stuff that's inside your sandwich? Meats, like chicken or hamburger, belong to the protein group, and so do fish, like tuna, and eggs made any way you like. But not all members of this group come from animals. Other foods like beans, peanut butter, and tofu, which is made from soybeans, are full of protein. So they're also proud members of the protein group. And that leaves us with the last food group, dairy. If a food is made from cow milk or soy milk, it's in the dairy group. So this is where you find things like yogurt and all kinds of cheeses, as well as your usual glass of milk. And do you know what else fits in this group? Ice cream. But that reminds me, sweet treats like candy don't fit into any of our groups. That's because they're made of mostly sugar and don't have any of the things that our bodies need to stay healthy. So it's okay to enjoy these foods from time to time, but just not a lot of the time. Now, do you think you can put a food into the right group? Let's take a tasty food quiz and see how well we know our food groups. We'll start with a slice of pineapple. What group do you think it goes in? Squeak says the fruit group. Good job, Squeaks. Yes. 
pineapple belongs in the fruit group. What about this hard-boiled egg? What group do you think this fits into? That's right, the protein group. Eggs are a good source of protein. Here's one more. We'll end our game with a food that fits in to two groups macaroni and cheese. Let's look at each part separately. The cheese from the mac and cheese fits into the dairy group because it's made from milk. But what about the macaroni noodles? Well, we learned earlier that noodles are made of flour from grain, so that means macaroni belongs to the grain group. That's right! Macaroni and cheese contains foods that are in the dairy group and the grain group. Whew! All this guessing has made me hungry. Hey Squeaks, let's make a snack. And remember, the next time you're hungry and head to the pantry or fridge, choose something healthy and see if you can guess what group your food fits into. Thanks for joining us on SciShow Kids. Is there something you'd like to learn more about? Get help from a group. All right, for today's activities, you're gonna need a ball, sock ball, paper ball, or a basketball or any kind of ball. The first activity we're gonna do is a matter of balancing and core strength and leg strength combined. In one leg balancing, you have to Bend over, pick up your ball, and bring it back, and bring it back down, and back up. Practice doing this. Go. Now you're going to do your other leg. So you're going to stand on your other leg, which is not your dominant strong leg. Bend over, pick it up, and put it down. Try to do it three times in a row. Activity is going to require you to use your ball and make a fist because you're going to be bouncing the ball on your fist. So watch this. It's hard to control. You're going to be concentrating on where the ball is landing and striking it with your hand. But again, like this. Ready? Begin.
right, for the next activity, using your ball, you're gonna create a rainbow. You're gonna throw the ball over your body, and you're gonna catch it in this side, and throw it back over. So it's gonna look like this, all the way over, catch, all the way over, catch, all the way over, catch. So you're going over your body. It looks very easy, but it's actually harder than you think. Again, over your body, over your body. Ready, begin. Activity is kind of challenging. You're gonna to have to lie down on the ground. The ball is gonna go between your feet, arms above your head. You're gonna connect the ball to your hands, back down, bring it back up, back down. You're gonna do this 10 times. Game begins in three, two, one. it means to be healthy. Lots of different things affect how healthy we are, including what we eat and how active we are. We know that all living things need food to stay alive. Have you ever wondered why this is? Can you think of a time you felt hungry? How did it make you feel? Perhaps your tummy rumbled, you felt tired or grumpy, or maybe you found it hard to concentrate. Why do you think we feel this way when we're hungry? Well, just like a car needs fuel to make the engine work properly, our bodies need food to be able to work properly as well. Today we're going to investigate what it means to eat a balanced diet and why eating a range of different food is good for us. What is a balanced diet? Do you think it would be healthy to only ever eat chocolate? What about if you only ever ate carrots? It's very important that we eat a variety of foods and we're going to find out why. Food contains something called nutrients. We'll be learning all about nutrients, such as proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Eating a healthy diet means that the food we eat gives our bodies all of the nutrients they need to work properly, as well as giving us lots of energy to learn, play and grow, keeping us full of beans from morning till night. Soap and hot water after everything When you 
anything So you're a tough guy, like to touch the mug guy Like to keep your palms dry, cough into your hands guy I'm the clean type, like to see you clean type Trust the CDC type, scrub the surface sheet type I'm the bath guy Duh uh. Now watch it drip Kill it Now you wait wait Twenty seconds Now watch it drip yeah. You so Now you wait wait Okay Don't touch face oh. Don't touch face Don't do it Don't touch oh, yeah. face Don't touch oh, yeah. face Now watch it drip hey. Sneeze, bro, shouldn't use your hands better in that sleeve, though If you got a cough, catch it in your elbow No shaking hands, we can wait for hello Don't go out, bro, we don't want to spread any more disease So we should follow everything the CDC knows You'll be feeling better in a couple weeks, though I mean, I hope so I have a hands, I have a soul You just got home late And got cooking on your brain You can save the day mm -hmm. If you wash the tongues away mm -hmm. Cause the water's gonna spray, 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 spray For 20 seconds while you wait, 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 baby Then you're gonna shake, 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 shake Shake it off, shake it off Terms like you don't belong on guys like me I'm gonna wash my hands I'm gonna keep them clean Yeah, yeah, germs like you Don't belong on guys like me I'm gonna stop the spread of COVID-19 Yeah, yeah This ain't just like gold That hot water-based combo This ain't for the mad germs Them sad germs That bad disease So pitch your hallelujah Cause I'm clean phone Gonna give it to you Myself some mad. Now you know I'm sink bound. 20 second count. That's round. Hot water, soap, rinse, lather, and repeat. Now. Okay, time for our cool down. We are going to start with breathing. Breathe in and out. One more time, in your nose, out your mouth. Ready? In and out. Good. Next, we're going to do the lunge. Hold. Go into the lunge position and hold it. 
We are going to count to 20. Count to yourselves. Ready, go, one. And switch to the other arm. Count to 20, go. Good. 